Shannon, will this work? I don't think so. And I wish these guys the best. I'd never wish ill on anybody trying to accomplish their dreams. But I can assure you, when these young men were thinking about being professional basketball players, they didn't think about playing in Europe. My concerns are, Skip, is that what happens when the dad can't control the situation? Because we've seen it on occasion, though, and we've only known LeVar Ball. Le LeVar Ball jumped into our, into our medium, into our axiom, yep. six, nine months ago. Yep. We saw he couldn't control the situation. He didn't like the situation in Vegas in the AAU game. He pulled his team off the court. He couldn't control the situation. The coach, a new coach came in at Chino Hill, said, I don't want your son to shoot 50 times. He took him out of school. He couldn't control the length of the suspension that UCLA had bestowed upon his mm -hmm. shoplifting son. Yeah. He removed him from the equation. He did. So what happens now when he can't control the situation from a halfway around the world, Skip? You know what? <laughs> and do I think this is going to last? My grandfather used to say, boy, this is going to last as long as a tic-tac in the mouth of a whale. How long you think that'll last, Joy? Not very long. That's how long this is going to last over there. Because once he realized he can't control the situation, they don't speak English. The food, Skip, these are not 24, 25-year-olds. You got a 16-year-old and a 19-year-old trying to go cut their teeth against grown mm -hmm. men. Yep. Me, as a professional athlete, when guys came in, rookies, you were first-team All-American, you were the Buckus or the Thorpe or the... I need to see why. Mm -hmm. I need to see why you got all these accolades. Yep. So I'm going to try my best to give it to you. Yep. What you think these young men going to do? They look at this like, hold on. Dude, you 16. You trying to come out here and take... You trying to... LiAngelo. Skip. If he thought... Le if he had a problem and he wanted them to go this route, mm -hmm. why would he even let uh, uh, Le Mel uh, uh, Jello... Sign with UCLA. Mm -hmm. Why not just go this route from the beginning? Don't know. If 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 you had if you didn't think uh, uh, Melo was learning anything or was gonna get any better in high school, mm -hmm. why not do this before the coach comes in and say he doesn't want him to shoot 50, 50 times a game? Mm. That's the problem. I hope it works, Skip. I don't wish ill will on anybody. Uh, he he wants to be a, a entrepreneur. He's going about it, build up this big baller brand. But Skip, I don't see how this works. I don't see how you're seeing two teenagers halfway around the world in a situation you can't control. Because what we've seen from you, Mr. LeVar Ball, mm -hmm. the moment you can't control the situation, you will remove you and what is yours, which is your two boys, from said situation. I hope it works. I hope I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, Skip, I have no com problem coming on this show and saying I was wrong. But I don't believe I will be. Nor do I. I will be surprised if these kids last more than one week in a village, non-speaking English village, of 10,000 in Lithuania. I, I want to remind everybody, they're not going to live in London or Paris, Paris. or Barcelona yeah. or Athens or Jerusalem or any metropolis in Europe mm -hmm. and play basketball. All those cities have really good basketball yes. teams and leagues. They're in small town Lithuania, and th this team, I don't know how it works, but they play in two leagues, a really good league and a really not so good league. Well, and like so the- Varsity and JV? Yeah, the, 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 the JV team is in what's called the Baltic League, and they're four and one in that league. But recently, there was a, a game that was tied late at 65, and the, their coach was ejected and the game was quote unquote abandoned because the coach was ejected, so they just left it a 65 all tie. I don't even know how that happens, or I guess it was a loss. Well, LeVar should fit right in. Yeah. He should yeah. fit right in, because guess what? When they pulled his kid, they just left the game like it was. So he, he'd yeah. be fine over there. So I have enough respect for LeVar Ball that he always has a plan. He has something up his sleeve, and in this case, I can't see what's up his sleeve. No. Because if you could have put these kids with, with a, a highly publicized spotlight team, let's say in China, again, the middle son has a big issue still hanging over his head in China. So I assume that eliminated the China possibility. Mm -hmm. But we've seen a lot of ex, you know, sort of fading NBA stars go over we'll to see. China yeah. and, and do well and, and become big deals in China. And I could have seen these two kids as a package deal becoming the, the ball sons over in China. I could see that. But... Nobody in Skip, Lithuania is, is going to care. I, I just Skip, don't. this is pro sports. This is not high school where if you take my son or college where if you take my son, you can get him. This is professional. 
Yeah. You think the Green Bay... My brother said, you know what, Packer, I'll sign with you, but I got a brother that's two years behind me. If y'all don't sign, if you don't tell me you're going to sign him, you can't sign me. That's not how pro sports work, Skip. So here's the plan. If LeVar Ball, if you're going to tell me, if the coach comes in and says, LaMelo, if you can shoot as many times as you want to, would you have still pulled him out? If the UCLA and Steve Alford mm -hmm. had not suspended Jello, would you have still pulled him out and put him overseas? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. This wasn't his plan. His plan got derailed because yeah. he could no longer control the situation. Now, it wasn't his hand-picked high school coach. It wasn't a situation where Jello uh, Jell was going to get preferential treatment because of what Lonzo had done. So the suspension might be two months, might be three months. It might be for the entirety of the year. He could, LeVar couldn't control that situation. Well, if I can't control the situation, let me get what's mine and mm -hmm. put him in a situation I can control. Okay, they took them both. Uh, 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 this team, the Baltic League team, they shoot a lot of threes. That's what Melo does. That's what I guess, that's what Jello wants to do. But again, Skip, what happens if they're not getting the minutes that LeVar thinks they should? Mm -hmm. What if they're not playing in the fourth quarter because we know how he feels? Now he really, really can't control because they don't speak English. So you talking your talk, they don't care what you're saying because they don't understand what you're saying. It, I hope I'm, Skip, I hope I'm wrong. But I just don't see this working out. And at some point in time, mm -hmm. LeVar is going to have to let these kids, because these are kids, let them be, he's trying to make them men before it's their time. There's no reason yep. you take a 16-year-old out of high school and ship him halfway around the world. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. I'm not saying this is, well, it's not, it, it, do, your kids. But I just don't believe it's the right thing to do yep. to take a 16-year-old out of school. Because, and the only reason you, Skip, if he, this was his plan all along, I got no problem with it. Yep. But I don't believe this was his plan. I believe his plan got foiled because the coach came in and says, he's not shooting 50 times. His plan got foiled at UCLA because they told him, Jell he's going to have to sit down. He's going to serve a suspension. I don't care what the Chinese government did. I'm talking about what UCLA is going to do. Mm -hmm. And once he could no longer control it, he took his possessions, which were his boys, and he put them in a situation he could control because he said, okay, I'll give you this one if you take that one. Yep. But how does this work out in the end? <sighs> Great point. And I remind everybody out there, these kids for their birthdays have gotten Lambos. Lamborghinis for their birthday. Why the hell are sudden, they stealing in China? Well, that's a great question. I don't know. Did it steal them Lambos? Uh, no. Uh -oh. So they are going to wind up in a little village, remote, and the, I'm not saying the food is bad. It's just really different than what you knew in Chino Hills. Yeah. It's really different. And I only know because I covered a Winter Olympics in Sarajevo in what was then Yugoslavia. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you, the hardest thing on me was the food. Yeah. I just, I didn't love it. And it's all you got. And you can't find anything else. Yeah. And so these kids are going to say, they're going to be on their cell phone. Can, does the cell work from over there? I don't know. It, it, the, the charges. Uh, you know, if uh, I go overseas, you know, if I'd have been going to see it, I need Granny to come with me because mm. I need neck bones. I need mm. oxtail. Yep. I need cornbread, that blueberry mm. with the blueberry bogged down in the bottom of it. That's what I need. And I these, can't be eating. That these doesn't kids, sound like traditional no. Lithuanian. Yeah, I don't think so it either. It does not. <laughs> And these kids are going to be playing with grown men grown. Who, who will not like them. No. And it's a different style of basketball. Not that they can't learn from it, but it's crafty and it's wily mm -hmm. and they play hard-nosed defense, little gray area defense. You know, it's it's tough. They could learn a lot if they can if they can tough it out. I just don't think they'll be able to tough it out. If you look at those big guys that come over yeah. there, they grow up playing that style they of do. basketball. They don't get over here and then all of a sudden become fundamentally sound. Dirk Nowitzki was fundamentally he sound was. once he arrived because he had been playing all his life like mm -hmm. that. Tony Parker, all his life. All his life. Manu, Nobly, you, same you look, way. And I know a lot of people don't remember, but Savonis, I believe he's Ooh. probably one of the best sparring bone. Even though he I, came I to Portland, I he agree. was well past his prime. Skip, he was skilled. He was oh. fundamentally, he was, he was perfect. Sharunas Marcelonis is another same. one from, from that area. Yep. It's just hard for me to believe because... These kids believe that I can, I don't have to play defense and there's not a bad shot that I could possibly take. So if I step across half court, let it rip. If I'm at the timeline, let it go. So who cares? And I don't know if that, I don't, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about that coach. I don't know a whole lot about that league or team. 
But I think they're probably going to frown upon the, the mm. kind of shots that these young men are used to taking. I'm with you. I hope it works, but I doubt it will. I don't know. Uh, from what we've seen from LeVar, he's always got a next move. He, he so does. We'll see. But LaMelo has to play three seasons overseas before he is eligible for the NBA draft. Ooh. So he's in for the long haul. Ooh. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.